might be a shorter video than I expected. Black car problems, right guys? <laughs> All right, well, it is what it is. Let's, uh... I haven't started the car in a long time and dude that thing was loping like it was a f***ing big block. Did you hear that? Jeez. Alright, I'm not sure what's going on with that. We're going to have to figure that out but it cleared up as soon as the idle came up but I need to check my fuel pressure and just go through the car because that did not sound right. Sounds a lot better now but I'm going to let it idle for a little bit. That was, uh, that was weird. Let me check my scan master too. Malfunction code 15. Let's look that up and see what's going on. Alright, it's telling me coolant sensor circuit. So uh, I'm gonna pop the hood and take a look at that real quick and uh, see what's going on and monitor the temperatures while it warms up because I've never had to throw this code before. I don't know, maybe the sensor went bad. I'm not sure, but I'm gonna monitor the temperatures. Uh, this might be a shorter video than I expected. Um, let it warm up, get to operating temperature, and then from there, I'm going to take it for a ride. I probably won't go too far at first just to see how it reacts and what happens. Turn it off, turn it off again, turn it on again. Maybe even reset the computer to see if that code throws again. But uh, yeah, it looks like we just got into a troubleshooting video. <laughs> Always fun with these cars. Black car problems, right guys? <laughs> Alright, well it is what it is. Let's uh, let it get up to temperature and then from there we'll see what's going on. Coolant temperature sensor is reading 127 and counting. It matches my autometer gauge, so we're just gonna keep an eye on that, let it heat up, see what happens. I swear, when it was idle and funny when I first started it up, I thought we were having a cam sensor problem again. I was like, oh, not this nightmare all over again. It was lumpy, it was like, bloom, bloom, bloom. And I was like, this ain't right, absolutely not right. Like I said, we're like 42 degrees, so we're not freezing cold, but at the end of the day, my garage is, you know, at least 55, 60 degrees because it's an attached garage and I monitor temperatures in there. So it's not like it goes down to freezing and I have antifreeze in the system. So even if it did for some reason get, you know, frozen, I wouldn't have any issues because there's, it's not hundred percent water, but uh, it's slowly creeping up. We're at 144 right now. Auto meter gauge shows the same. You know 144 so we're getting there all right guys i just restarted the car just before i leave uh in the event that it doesn't restart for some weird circumstance and just check the scan master and there's no malfunction code now so maybe it was just a coincidence maybe it's just tell me it's starting to go bad but look nothing all right so i guess we can resume our original plan <laughs> i don't know we'll find out um got my triple a card ready in the event knock on wood cooling temperature is 150 so we're creeping so that's good 151 good 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 looks to be a little bit lower on the auto meter but you know what they don't always match 100 percent so let's keep an eye on it 153 we're going up good all right, let's get out of here.
right guys we just stopped we're actually in downtown salem new jersey literally just taking a ride and uh, this is where i ended up street's kind of cool it looks like like i said downtown you can see they got like church and stuff it's probably all blown out but uh i want to stop because it look cool if i could take some photos there's not a ton of traffic on this road as i say that as there's 17 cars driving by but uh i want to take some cool photos because I don't know, the buildings and the shops look kind of cool, so I figured I'd try it out. I wish the sun was shining on the car. The sun is shining on the other side of the street, but uh, whatever, it might look cool anyway. So uh, if I get some cool shots, I'm gonna drop them in right here. Hopefully some of those pictures came out all right. I think I got a few, but uh, I was over here shooting and I had my back turned and a guy walking up she was like, yeah, man, make it look good. And I jumped, he scared the crap out of me. I didn't hear him coming. He goes, yeah, man, it looks good. So like, make it look good. So I was like, I'm trying, man. It's all I can do, I'm trying. All right, let's go check out some more places, see if we get some more shots. I, uh, I'm enjoying this. It's nice to get out and cruise and you know, explore my new communities, surrounding communities, I don't know. But uh, let's go do that. All right, I drove around a little bit more and I found out where I wanted to shoot, but unfortunately, it's gated off and it's only access i'm guessing to uh maybe the dmv where i'm at the municipal building but right over here was a parking garage my thought was go there take off get some sick drone shots of circling shots of the car on the top of the uh the roof over there but unfortunately that's not going to happen it's gated off i can't get in there so i'm in a parking lot behind the main drag where i actually just took the pictures so i'm going to throw the drone up here it looks like you know the downtown municipal building here um and you know some shops but uh it should look pretty cool so i'm gonna throw the drone up there let me know what you guys think in the comments below do you like the drone footage does it add anything um i just love flying so i might as well fly record and make some video while i'm out just makes sense for me so if you guys enjoy it let me know and also don't forget to hit that like button right down there right now please it helps the channel helps me i appreciate it so go ahead hit that like button right there right now yeah or there not really sure where it's at just 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 hit it for me please 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 all right let's get the drone up in the air <laughs> i forgot to put an sd card in it my bad I haven't flown it in a while so throw an sd card in it and let's try again all right take two All right, so that was some all right footage, right? Um, it's funny, because I literally thought today's shooting was gonna be mostly rural, like, you know, farmland and shit like that, but here I am in a real small city, shooting cityscapes. <laughs> Who would've known? But uh, anyway, still nice out. We're gonna jump back in the car and uh, continue our travels, see what we can discover here. Uh, I just have fun doing this, and uh, let me get back in the sun. I have fun doing this and exploring, and uh, why not? So uh, let's jump in the car, head out some more. All right, so as I'm driving, I have a question, a curiosity. Where do you guys put your cell phones for like when you're using GPS and you're in your Buicks? Because right now, I have no idea where I'm at, I'm using GPS to get back towards my house. And right now the GPS is lying right there. Anyway, it's on my passenger seat. Where do you put it? Do you mount it somewhere? Do you have a mount that you prefer? Let me know because I'm definitely interested in getting one because it's just so much easier if it was in my line of sight on some level, whether you like, you put it here, you mount it to a vent. Um, I do have a vent mount for my other car, but I don't know that it would stay and hold in these cheesy ass Buick vents. So let me know what you guys do because again, I need a solution for mounting my cell phone in my Buick. So leave me a comment below, right now. Awesome. The cool 
it's 162 at a cruising speed of about 50 with you know very cool intake temps 50 degrees auto meter showing about the same all right guys i'm in another cool spot here i'm gonna throw the drone up see if we can get some more footage there's some cool uh greenhouses over here there's like tons of them so i'm gonna take the drone and fly it over but uh and guys if you're interested you can get my g-body t-top american flag that's got the tattered look to it uh, available at etsy.com um, i also can be reached on uh, instagram my uh, user account is we4 owners so if you check out that you'll be able to follow me um, i don't really push that much here on youtube but uh also you can leave your email below reach out to me uh the tattered flags are 69.99 uh free shipping i ship them out next day and uh, i think they look really cool um, I'll leave a little bit of footage from the drone here so you can take a look for them. They only come in the flat black. That's the only color I make them in. It's a real subtle design, and that's the way I intend to keep it um, across, you know, all my sales. So uh, if you're interested, hit me below. Email now uh, down below or Instagram, WE4Owners, um, and then Etsy.com as well. So if you like it, go ahead and place an order. I appreciate it. But uh, let's get the drone up in the air. All right, guys, that about wraps it up for the video here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I just like getting in front of the camera for you guys and editing. That's probably one of my most favorite parts. It takes a long time to edit, but that's when the creative process really uh, starts to show. It's always about planning. And, uh, you know, I thought this video was going to be a go explore, get some cool shots. Almost turned into a diagnostic video, but luckily the cool temperatures did not go above you know 168 165 when we're out cruising so everything's okay the mal code's gone so cross the fingers it stays away but uh pulled into the driveway now listen we got more videos coming up for you i got a garage tour coming um i got a bigger better garage here at the new house so i'm looking forward to making that for you guys but uh listen until next time i'll see you later don't forget hit that like button hit subscribe i appreciate each and every one of you um don't forget uh, tattered American flags. You can get your own. Um, shameless little plug. Sorry, guys. But again, I'll see you later. Peace. All right, behind the scenes. Let's get this shot. You ready? We're gonna uh, put this on the tripod at the end of the driveway and drive at it. Again, behind the scenes footage. Why is my mailbox wide open? <laughs>